Hey guys, this is the Tuninator, and this is Fallout New Vegas Mods of the Week, episode 23. So I got a few mods for you today, I apologize, it might be a bit shorter than usual, I'm not quite sure yet, because uh, I'm actually on vacation again, and uh, I'm going to have, I do have internet access, but I have limited computer access, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to upload a video, so uploads may be a bit off. But anyways, the first mod I have for you is the Stalker Weapons Pack, sent in by Single Cell 55, and basically what this does is... It adds a whole bunch of weapons to the game uh, from the game Stalker, Sh uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, and potentially some uh, some sequels as well. Anything you see here is a Stalker weapon, and uh, those are some really cool survival uh, post-apocalyptic games, really in the, the, the same style as Fallout, actually. Oh, and crap. Uh, did I just hit the King's uh, balls? Uh, yeah, it's going to be a problem. Anyways, uh... As I was saying, uh, it's just a, a cool mod that uh, adds a whole bunch of new weapons, and it adds this shop down here in Freeside where you can buy all of them. Uh, I think we've got mode on, don't I? Yeah, I don't know why I'm running so slow. But anyways, there's this, uh, you go right past the Kings towards the, uh, the main gate to Freeside. I gotta take off this power, I don't know why I'm so slow, but uh, hopefully I'll run faster if I switch to something else. Uh, See the leather armor, so I can look real dumb. Anyways, and you go right in here, and the sign called the Radiation King. You follow that right in. There's a store manned by Nimble, who is a character from Shadow of Chernobyl. And again, those are really cool games. If you hadn't played them, and you like the kind of survival aspects of Fallout, and uh, if you want to be scared uh, more so. If you're already scared by Fallout, I wouldn't recommend playing Stalkers. I haven't beaten it myself yet, but I have played it a fair amount, and it's quite creepy. But Nimble is supposed to be down there, uh, but he's up here right now. What do you need? She's got the stalker suit. Uh, I think that might be a different manga suit. I don't think you can get it from here. But you see, he's just got a huge, a huge shop. He's got pretty much every weapon I have already. But you, you can see uh, all the different kinds of weapons. Oh, they're all from stalker. So this adds a whole ton of grenades. Again, all of them from from that game. So it adds something like uh, thirty. Uh, 35 new weapons, I think it is. Uh, oh, that gun, yeah. That, that one, uh, I know well, so let's just show off Thanks. all the guns. That, that was one of the guns I was using, was the, uh, this is one you get, or not, not that, rather, but this is one, if I remember, serves that you get, yeah, you get this real early on when you fight the, uh, the, this camp of uh, mercenaries. Sides I can show them off in the light, and uh, th most of them are actually uh, quite good looking. So you can see they're, they're pretty detailed. Uh, not all the clipping is perfect, but the mod's still in the development, so they're still fixing stuff. And I mean, with this many weapons, like what 35 different ones, uh, at least uh, you, you can't really expect everything to be perfect right away. Also, I think there might be some weapon animation conflicts because I, I modded the game to for the weapon animation places and had to take them out. So. Uh, actually, this one's not from Stalker, sorry. Yeah, that, yeah, one you'll see what it's from later, but let me just show you some of the other ones. Now there's the bolt gun. Destroy some of the weapons. And I do have God Mode on, so I don't run out of ammo, and I can keep demonstrating these. That I already showed. This one I think might have a... Oh, no, it's a, that's a different. I think you can get, like, a firing mode taught, like, selective fire. These, these weapons are fully compatible with a selective fire mod. And yes, uh, for those of you who noticed, I do not have dynamic crosshair at the moment. My Project Nevada is being messed up by New Vegas Script Extender. I, kn I know there's a new one out. I've downloaded it, but it's NVSC still is not, or uh, Project Nevada is still not recognizing it. So I'm working on that. But for the meantime, there will be no uh, dynamic crosshair, unfortunately. My apologies. If you're a big Stalker fan, this is definitely the mod for you, just simply because this is another one from the mod. It just adds a lot of weapon variety and all weapons you know and love, so there's really no downside. Uh, let me demonstrate a couple more in the Desert Eagle and then get on so you guys don't get too bored. But I do have a few more for you today.
Okay, show that. Show the machine gun. Kind of like the LMG, but a little different. The Russian style. Oh, which Russian weapons. Yeah, it's going to have some issues. I'm not sure if that's on my end because of the... Uh, Although the weapon animation replacers have been installing and uninstalling up until the mods, and but either way, uh, the mods being updated, so I would expect those to be worked out. And again, with such a variety of weapons, you can't really complain. These can be com found a, a lot around the wasteland as well, and in terms of that shop, just to let you know. Alrighty, so that's all. Uh those I'm gonna show you. The next thing I have for you is another uh, weapon mod. It's the Warhammer 40k Vulcan. Uh, so if any of you who are fans of 40k will recognize this as the distinctive weapon of the Space Marines. I'm gonna get on some power armor. If we're gonna be showing off this, we're gonna be wearing some power armor. The Quarter Six power armor is from another mod. I've uh, done an early mod of the week. You can find on the, the Nexus. Anyways, uh, so this basically is uh, it has a it's a big ass machine gun with like five or different or not machine gun. It's like a it's supposed to be a, kind of like an assault rifle on steroids uh, in, the, in the background of the game. The game's going to be fire shells, sort of like rocket propel, basically mini grenades. It's got a whole all sorts of different ammo types, like high velocity, standard, uh, incendiary, high explosive. So, if you're a 40k fan, there's also a black version and a bolt pistol if you don't want to orange space or style. If you just want a really big gun, uh, this is also the thing for you. Uh, it does some, it has like some like 250 DPS, something in uh, my gun skill isn't even that high, I don't think, so you can see it's a, it's a pretty cool gun, so, yeah, if you're a 40k fan, definitely get this one check, or a look. So the next mod I have to demonstrate is the New Vegas Trade Center, which uh, is this building right here, and it, it adds kind of, uh, really enhances the, the economic system in the game, it adds this big this big building in the middle of Free Side, which basically is kind of like a, a trade hub and an economic hub. And what this does is basically, it uh, it serves a whole different fun, a bunch of different economic functions for the player. And I apologize for the lighting. I think this is probably some kind of mod clash, as it looks fine in the screenshots. But uh, just trying to look past that. It's probably not going to happen in your game. Only happens in mine because of conflicts. And it's a great mod nonetheless. So I apologize uh, for blinding your eyes, but. Maybe, maybe I can, actually, the project in the is probably not working with the night vision, but I'll see if I can <laughs> get on night vision, actually. Yeah, no luck. Anyways, we're going to, it's, uh, the first feature it adds, yeah, like, five floors. The first uh, thing it adds is a marketplace, which is really cool. It's six different vendors. Uh, they all serve a unique purpose. It's not like a mod where it just drops in some random vendor and it sells the same crap you get from everybody else. And there's this chick who sells all sorts of medical supplies, and she can sell some really cool, uh, unique stuff. Uh, most of them have unique items. Uh, you can get the, the sleeping pill, which I'll, I'll buy one of. Uh, golden Age, you can see speed increase, stats increases. I'm not sure what the blood here fire does, actually. Let's find out. Uh, sleeping pill is really cool simply because... Ooh, that's cool, too. It lets you add weight. So this lets you get uh, the well-rested bonus uh, pretty much no matter where you sleep. So this guy just sells the uh, any any miscellaneous part uh, you can find. He sells, and... Uh, you can buy them in bulk, even, so you can, you can buy all these. So if you need random crap for a quest or something, this is your guy. I actually might see if he has pencils that I can buy for Willow's personal quest. This guy sells really cool things called bags of random. They're supposed to be stacked on here. They float it off. I don't know why, but uh, what they do is actually, uh, do you have any tip? Do you find the book that tells you how to be like, a millionaire? And yeah, this mod's actually got a, a great sense of humor uh, as well. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of really funny dialogue, and he's working on getting it voiced too, so it should be voiced in the future. So this guy sells bags of random, which are uh, pretty awesome, because it's only 100 caps, and they give you a random item. Later. I'm not, I'm not sure whether the, the system of distribution is actually random, or whether it's based off of, you know, uh, some it's kind of predetermined thing, but see, so you open it, bottle caps. Second one, a microfusion cell. I got NCR combat armor and a ranger thing earlier. <laughs> Intact garden gnome. Uh, sharp dressed raiders armor. I think you can, you can get literally anything. Pot, mutilated leg, drinking glass. So basically, for those of you guys who are like to be a uh, gamblers of sorts, uh, th this is definitely what you want to do. 
Again, uh, you can oh, death claw gone. Yes, yeah, so I, earlier I I talked to him and he gave me a. Where's that radar armor? Hmm. Maybe you have to exit and go back in. Okay, earlier uh, you can talk to me and get three bags for free, and I got out of that a uh, very interesting deal of. Uh, yeah, they, I got the Ranger Combat Armor, uh, Ranger Combat Helmet, and uh, uh, Legion Centurion Armor. So I'm not sure if, that, if that's like preset or if I just got really, really lucky, but... Oh, whoops, what's going on here? Yeah, something's up the light in here. And, and there's this woman who sells uh, a bunch of different kind of books. Uh, they're not all the normal stat books either. So uh, actually, you see these. A big Iron, Bill of Rights. And we're gonna we're just gonna read some of these and see what they do. Cause I actually don't know what some of them do. And then I'll show you what the the sleeping pill does as well. So uh, we're gonna check out the this. Oh, it's just an actual book, the actual Sun Tzu. That's really cool. Wonder if it gives you some kind of bonus. That's really cool. So you can actually read the book. Nice. So uh, this guy's just an ammo vendor. So uh, he can make special guns for you, which is basically a really weird ammo version of the of the normal weapons. Uh, BB riot shotgun. Let's take. Let's get that. Uh, the Craig's uh, Magnum SMG I had in my inventory is also from him. So. You can get uh, just some, he sells a ton of the normal weapons as well as uh, just really wacky guns. So, the SMG. And then the, the BB Riot Shotgun. That's just hilarious. Alright, and then the last guy. Sells a lot of really cool armor stuff. So uh, you can buy some historical replicas of like the uh, Caesar's outfit or an, an NCR general uniform, which saves you having to kill them for it. And then you can just do the normal shop, and you can buy pretty much any faction armor that you could possibly want. So if you, this is another good way to get a, if you want to be able to get our, uh, the Alcway Tesla armor in game, and you don't want to have to kind of metagame for it with the console or something like that. You just do this and you pop right over there and then you go. Or there you go rather. Alrighty, General Olive's uniform. Uh, it's Caesar's outfit as well, so it saves you having to kill him. You can go around dressed as faction leaders. Which is cool stuff. Right? There we go. That's cool, right? Alrighty, let me put the power armor back on. I'm just gonna show you the other fours. It also has several other features including uh it's got a, a bank where you can kind of deposit your money and actually collect interest, which I'll show you. It's got a loan level, which uh, I can't find the, the guy for that right now. But basically, you, you can take out loans, and you have a certain amount of in-game time to pay them back, which is really, really cool. It's got personal storage with the delivery robot outside. Well, lets you open your storage right from there, so you don't have to go inside. And it's actually got a whole bunch of little sub-quests that run within the mod as well. So there's a whole lot of stuff to do with this. It's kind of like Run the Lucky 38 if you're looking for a... Way to generate some steady income and just add more of an economic simulation kind of style thing to the game. This is definitely the mod for you. I might have a crash here. I'm not really sure what's taking so long. It did take a while to load earlier. But, uh... Hmm. Let me give it a sec, see what happens. Yeah, that was a crash, sorry about that, so we're gonna go, uh... Yeah, again, I think the waiting in here is probably something that on my end, so don't worry. There's also a fully functioning staircase for the whole building if you don't want to use the elevator, so that's really cool. We're gonna use the elevator for uh, speed purposes, so we're the bank, which is the, the coolest feature in my opinion, and it... Even more so than the shops, so I will... So you can do some uh, different stuff, you can deposit money here, so you access your savings account. 
an, an increase by an interest by two percent on a w in game weekly basis i think so deposit your money here instead of carrying around a hundred thousand bottle caps or your gold bars if you were someone who made sure you escaped from dead money with all the gold bars like i did you can do cashier's checks which basic basically uh you hold on to this uh and you put that many caps uh you lose that many caps then you can come give this back to this this back to them and uh you can get your caps back that way, so that's a, another way to kind of get around the storage, uh, or hold on to a million caps. You can see you have your own personal storage here, uh, and it can also be accessed by, uh, you can you can buy a bigger uh, room as well, so the VIP room, so now like the maximum possible storage area, so if you're looking for more or you want to just kind of put your stuff in here. Leadership in the pit there you go. And offer uh, so this is one, that's one of the coolest features in this. Honestly, uh, I'm still trying to figure out what this does. I'm not really sure what print the slip is supposed to do, but I'm sure if we can, I think these are still locked because of the quest, so I'm going to go show you the... Was, was there anything else in here that I wanted to show? To those who uh, pointed out that nothing that big is documented in historical records, let me make sure I get everything on the main floor. Enclave because, uh, officials have stressed like I said, I can't that despite our vast person. technological well, you know, we'll, we'll take a quick spin up there, see if the one person showed up. It's entirely possible that something was snuck into orbit without our knowledge. Tribal villages, from Point Lookout to the Mesa Verde, uh, have far more primitive and far yeah, more. I think there's supposed to be someone in here. I saw them earlier. I'm not sure where they went. So. Colorado River Let's for just go take a look. And yes, the mod in the background is on Clear Radio. If you were wondering, just left it on. Yep, so that's everything I had to show you in here for now. So, uh, sorry you couldn't find the loan officer, but again, uh, basically, you can take out uh, loans from anywhere from a very small amount of caps, oop, wrong place, to a very large amount. And uh, you, you have a certain amount of in-game time to pay them back. And I'm not actually sure what happens to you if you don't. I would assume large burly men come and beat you. But uh, either way, I suspect you don't really want to find out what happens if you don't pay it back. Anyways, uh, I have a couple more mods for you today. The first one is the Realistic Headshots mod sent in by the bad commentator. And basically what this does is it makes headshots one-hit kill any NPC by default. As you know, they, they actually kind of would if you're playing. You uh, heard it here first, America. Uh, or Our not just playing it, it's a way that you're actually shooting somebody. Like and uh, kind of continue with the, the stalker theme, uh, where you do also die and like one to hit everything. See, one hit, dead. Uh, shit, she's running. One hit, dead. Uh, ooh. Oh, do they take your side if you get in a fight? That's awesome. Uh, you can also download a version that, uh, so we can get him. Yeah, you, you can download a version that basically, uh, also makes you die in one headshot, so again, if, if you're longing for that stalker level of you die. Hmm. Let's be missing him. Yeah, so basically if you're longing for those stalker levels of, uh, you die instantly, then uh, this is the mod for you. I'm not really sure why they're taking my side, but anyways, uh, so uh, yeah, basically again, just one hit headshots. <coughs> it's quite cool. The pistol's just missing or doesn't register because it's a. Uh, I'm not sure, but there's something weird going on there because it did work on the other two guys, and the pistol only does nine damage. Anyways, uh, so the next mod I have is called the uh, Mr. Doctor House mod, sent by a. Uh, Raccoon Nux 49, and this is a pretty simple one, basically all it replaces the normal Mr. House uh, picture with Dr. House from the TV show House. I don't watch it myself, but I thought this was pretty hilarious, because I, obviously, I mean, if familiar with it, you can't really not be you know, nowadays, but if you're a fan of the show, you can just make Mr. Oh, yes, pop-ups from an old save, great. You can make Mr. House <laughs> look like Dr. House, which is just kind of funny if you want, like the idea of uh, Dr. House still being alive hundreds of years after the apocalypse. I mean, if anyone's going to survive, it's going to be this bastard. And, uh, just kind of doing his thing. Uh, and it be, if you like, uh, being ordered around, you know, kill people, run the way son by house. Or if you think it's funny, you know, like me with the Felicia Day Miles, I think it's a mutant just running around, killing people with Felicia Day. So, um, that's something you might want to check out. So the last mod I have for you today is another pre-order DLC alternative. This one is called the Bounty Pack. What it does is it, it gives you this, uh, this Bounty Duster, high plane, it's ATT, Christmas plus one, guns fast, and pretty good stats. 
uh, binoculars. Doesn't give you a weapon per se, but uh, that's covered. You'll see in a second. It gives you uh, two mods for the varmint rifle, uh, the silencer, and the scope. So uh, you get the varmint rifle right away from Sunny. Uh, yeah, I would recommend installing the better binoculars mod. I had that right now, though. I didn't do something right, so it's clipping around the edges, as you can see here. But normally, it looks fine through the glass. I just got to fix another my install, so... You get a cool, useful item right at the start, and another one that I believe was uh, exclusive uh, early on to the pre-order packs until you found it in the Wasteland, which could be kind of a pain, because I think they're, they're pretty far away. And then you get two mods uh, for the varmint rifle, and I think you get four weapon repair kits, or you're, you're supposed to anyways. Uh, don't know why those haven't loaded them, but it's also supposed to come with four weapon repair kits. Anyways, uh, just another nice uh, uh, kind of role-playing start thing, and it's, uh, it's useful for improving the default weapon right off the bat, too, because the armor rifle does kind of suck, so helps you not be stuck with that piece of crap. So anyways, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Any comments, questions, things like that, just uh, message me, leave a, uh, leave a comment, I'll try and answer you, um, help you out as best I can. Uh, this is the Tunator, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.